Today we have a lot of news to go over because the PlayStation Store actually updated the Marvel Spider-Man 2 section with some brand new info including a synopsis of the game as well as some new details of technology being featured in the game and a couple other things. So that's going to be today's video. There's a lot to go over. Let's get started. Before we get into today's video, do you enjoy watching Spider-Man content on YouTube? If so, you found the perfect channel to join. For an affordable price of only $2 a month, you can get exclusive access to priority reply to comments. These cool custom badges I made myself as well as some Spider-Man emojis but wait, there's more. and lastly you can get early access to content if any of that sounds interesting what are you waiting for join today thank you for your time back to your regularly scheduled content so first, let's talk about the PlayStation Store update for Marvel Spider-Man 2. If you did not know, pre-orders are available for Marvel Spider-Man 2. We got the standard edition for 70 beans before tax, which is low-key a crime, but that's inflation for you. Then there's the digital deluxe edition for 80 beans. I personally don't think the digital deluxe is worth it. That's just me. I did get the deluxe for the first game though, because you know, I thought that was worth it. Anyhow, yeah, if you want to go and pre-order uh, Spider-Man 2, you are now able to. I think the collector's edition might be sold out or it might still be or no as i'm recording this video right now it's still available but this i'm recording this yesterday because this is going to go up tomorrow when i'm recording this so by the time this video is uploaded the collector's edition might be sold out but yeah anyway uh let's get into the game info and the first paragraph says spider-man peter parker and miles morales face the ultimate test of strength inside and outside the mask as they fight to save the city each other and the ones they love from the monstrous venom and the dangerous new symbiote threat now this is interesting so they will of course be tested inside the mask as spider-man but as well outside the mask as miles and peter while fighting to save new york each other and as well their loved ones from venom the dangerous new symbiote threat i feel like it's a nice detail they say from each other likely you know it's referring to miles trying to save peter from the symbiote at some point in the story which was also kind of teased in the gameplay reveal at the uh, place showcase with you know at the end miles saying no he's not normally like that as far as them having to save their loved ones uh that's interesting so like i can definitely see venom going after mary jane for sure like that's almost like 99.9 percent .9 chance that's gonna happen because other than miles from what i remember mj is the only other person in pete's life that he cares about deeply I do wonder who Venom will be going after as far as Miles' loved ones, if that does happen. Because as far as Miles, there's options. Like there's Genki, there's his mom, or maybe one of those Harlem folks in his neighborhood from the Miles Morales game. If you did not know, uh, in the Ultimate Comics, Venom killed Miles' mom, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember what issue it was or what specifically happened, but I know it happened or something like Venom did something to Miles' mom. I don't, I don't remember if he killed her or hurt her. I'm pretty sure he killed her. Let me know in the comments. So I am curious if they will go a similar route with either his mom or Genki. I kind of doubt Genki. I mean, if anything, I definitely do not see Genki dying. That's my opinion, but who knows? There's options as far as Miles' loved ones being messed with by Venom. Pete only has MJ, of course, like he cares for Miles, but as far as innocent loved ones who are not super powered, Pete is limited, whereas Miles there's a couple options there. The next paragraph says, explore an expansive Marvel's New York with faster web swinging and the all new web wings, quickly switching between Peter and Miles to experience different stories, epic new abilities, and high tech gear. Not much necessarily new here, but I'm super excited to see, you know, how the new traversal is gonna be with the web wings and see how much faster the web swinging is. And as well, super excited to be able to quickly switch between Peter and Miles when free roaming or in the story. Super excited to see how that mechanic goes. On to the next paragraph, which says, wield Peter's symbiote abilities and Miles' explosive bioelectric powers in battle against new and iconic Marvel supervillains, including an original take on a symbiote-infused Venom, the ruthless Kraven the Hunter, the volatile lizard, and more from the Marvel Rogues Gallery. Now I find some of the wording here interesting. First, they say battle against new and iconic Marvel supervillains. By new, do they mean just new to this universe? Or do they mean new as in like made up characters? Like they made themselves possibly? I kind of doubt it, but it's very possible they could have created and came up with like some whole new villains and that would be kind of intriguing. And I mean, Insomniac can be pretty creative. So I think maybe they can make that work, mainly depending on who it is though and how they execute this character. 
The second thing I want to point out is where they said symbiote infused venom. That's an interesting choice of words if I do say so myself. Because like, I don't know, why symbiote infused? Like, I don't know, something about that sounds odd or like just interesting. Like, like it, is it just me or am I reading too far into it? Let's move on to the rest. This next part says, feel the true power of Spider-Man in your hands. Haptic feedback, experience the full force of Peter and Miles' new abilities at your fingertips with responsive vibrations. Adaptive triggers, master acrobatic moves, execute thrilling combos, and discover the breathtaking excitement of web swinging traversal. The haptic feedback sounds interesting. I kind of like the whole haptic feedback thing. It's kind of stimulating for me and like also kind of satisfying. I don't know about y'all, but I kind of dig it. Adaptive triggers, not entirely sure what that is or means. Kind of sounds like extra buttons, like on a scuff controller or something. I don't know if the PS5 controller has that or not, because I don't have a PS5, but uh, I guess it'd be kind of cool if it did. Now this next part got me kind of hyped a little. It says, live the superhero life. Tempest 3D audio tech. Pinpoint the sounds of webs, bioelectric powers, bustling traffic, responsive New Yorkers, and dangerous enemy attacks. Stunning visuals. Explore beautifully vibrant new environments and locations, including Brooklyn, Queens, Coney Island, and more. The audio stuff sounds crazy. Like, imagine distinctively hearing where that, where exactly, like, the web is coming from, or traffic when swinging, etc. That would be, like, really cool, interesting detail to, like, take advantage of when playing Spider-Man 2. Now the second half, which is super interesting actually because it talks about the new locations and explorable parts of their bigger New York in Spider-Man 2. They confirm Brooklyn, Queens again, but the new piece of information is obviously Coney Island. I've never been to New York, so I have zero clue what Coney Island is and also have no clue if it's been in a Spider-Man game unless it was maybe in Spider-Man 3 because before Spider-Man 2, the one coming out this year, Spider-Man 3 the movie game had the biggest explorable map in a Spidey game if I remember correctly. Okay, so I actually just looked it up and I guess Coney Island is a part of Brooklyn, so that's great to hear. I don't know why they kind of like put it in two separate locations if it's the same place, but what's interesting is that they said and more. I wonder if there's going to be other locations explorable in the game. Oh, maybe it's this. Uh, I also I almost forgot somewhere else. I forgot where I read it. I think it's in a great in, in one of the game descriptions somewhere. It listed one of the explorable locations as the Emily May Foundation. And if you didn't know, in the Venom concept art, there's a billboard that says Emily May Foundation. And if you also didn't know, Emily is Osborne's mom. I think Norman's wife. Well, of course, May is referring to Peter's Aunt May who passed away in the first game, Marvel Spider-Man. I do wonder how this will be an explorable location, quote unquote, though. So like, that's interesting, but this kind of hints towards some sort of plot going on between the Osborns and Peter. But that's definitely setting something up. We'll just have to wait and see what that is. Also really quick, be on the lookout for tomorrow's video because tomorrow we're going to be going over an interview by Marvel with Brian Intahar about Marvel spider-man 2 and there's a lot of information in there to go over so again look out for tomorrow's video so what do you think of some of the new details hints and confirmations we got with the new game info provided via the playstation store page for marvel spider-man 2 make sure you comment your opinion down below so i can discuss all that with you in the comment section thank you for taking time out of your day to click on this video if you are new to the channel i cover spider-man related scoops rumors leaks confirmations for the games movies tv shows and i try to upload as much as i can so if any of that interests you hit the subscribe button we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers if you want more of this type of content leave a like on the video don't forget to check out my latest video on the left if you haven't already i hope you ever had a good day and that you enjoyed the video until next time